Hey guys, so this is a spring mass damper system. Um, we'll be modeling it um, using this equation of motion using MATLAB. And we're going to use a finite difference approximation method to solve this or model this. There's some values. The K is just a spring constant, 1,000 newtons per meter. Mass is by 10 kilograms, and C is the damping coefficient. Uh, you can think of it as uh, this as a car suspension. Um, you're going on a bumpy road, and um, there's some excitation uh, um, y function, which is a step function, uh, 0.1 at one second. Uh, the amplitude is 0.1. Before that is zero, and we're trying to figure out the mass uh, um, uh, position. This is the x value. Uh, we'll go over the finite difference uh, method real quick. Uh, let's say you have these uh, x uh, function of t time, and you have your solution is basically this black line. <coughs> and let's say you 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 have these uh, arbitrary numbers on the solution at a very small interval, um, uh, delta t. But let's call this one as uh, <coughs> these three points. We look at it three points. So and call call these points uh, this one here k the middle one is k k plus one and k minus one and the distance between these two uh, k and k plus one will be delta t so if you use a backward difference approximation method you for the first order say x dot is basically equal to xk which is the middle one here minus the previous point the k minus one over the distance between which is delta t so if your delta t is small you you get a good solution now we use a forward difference method use the point ahead of k which is k plus one and you subtract it from x at k and you basically divide it by delta t. And central difference will be the k plus 1 minus the xk minus 1 over 2 delta t because the distance between those two points is 2 times delta t. This is, this is a very good way to solve any differential equation. Uh, let's look, quickly look at the uh, second order approximation uh, formulas. I mean, there's a whole table out there that actually looks at third order, um, fourth order um, approximation uh, equations. Uh, so what you do is, if you want to find the second order equation, you just take the uh, first order of the backward difference method and you divide it by delta t squared, which basically equals to xk minus 2x, k minus 1, plus x k minus 2 over delta t square and same thing for forward difference method 2 I'm gonna quickly just write it down it's x k plus 2 minus 2 x k plus 1 uh, plus k over delta t square I will look at uh, soon how are we going to implement this in MATLAB and uh, solve this differential equation? <coughs> Delta T squared. All right. So I have this table right here, and uh, we'll just we'll just use this table. So this this is the equation of motion equation uh, for our damping uh, spring mass system. <coughs> All we gotta do is, uh, in this case, we'll just use a backward difference method. But you could you could use any of the three uh, methods to solve this. But we'll just use a backward difference method. So all you do is just substitute uh, these values for x double dot and x dot, and um, and then you basically just solve it. So we'll just quickly do that here. So m so x double dot is basically just the x k minus 2x k minus 1 plus k minus 2 
over delta t square. And next k is just x minus k minus 1 over delta squared. Same thing. This is a big k, the uh, spring constant. And th the other k's are just our um, indices that we'll be using on our code. So, so after you substitute, you simply find the um, common xk like this. So m over dt square plus c over dt plus k. Now you just uh, find the common uh, xk minus 1 will be just um, negative 2m uh, dt square over c over dt plus just xk minus 2 will be over just m over dt square. Uh, we'll do the same thing on the right hand side. Uh, c dt plus k plus y k minus 1 minus c over dt. Uh, for simplicity uh, we'll just uh, let's say call this part here a1, A2, we'll call this A3, and A4, and this one's A5. So we'll just use simple algebra and um, just um, solve the equation for xk, and we'll bring everything to the right hand side. So the way it will work will be just uh, um, 1 over A1 times minus A2, xk minus 1 minus xk minus 2 over a3 plus and a5. So we have this equation. We're going to use this equation in our MATLAB code. So let's go over to the code. Um, we'll just go to a new script. Let's create a new script. Um, start typing, let's say, Mm. Just go ahead, just use the basic ones here first. Just clear all, close all, clear. Just clears the screen, cl cl uh, clears all the previous values. Just good practice. Um, so now the next thing we'll do is we'll uh, just define our variables so our k, the spring constant, mass, and, and the damping coefficient. And now um, we also have to define our um, time step, our delta t. So the smaller, the smaller the delta t, the better uh, resolution you will get in your solution, or the better solution um, will come out. So we'll just pick a very small one, 0 0.001, and we'll say we'll go from 0 to 5 seconds. We'll create a time array. So t equals to from 0 to 5. And the the interval that it will go is 0 0.1 0 0.001. Now we'll just define our uh, unit step function, the y function. Uh, so the way you define it is just type the amplitude times the heavy side function. It's the built-in function in MATLAB to create step uh, functions. So t minus one. So basically, what you're saying is at point one, um, at at sorry at 0 to 1, the value will be 0, but at t equal to 1, which is 1 second, the the amplitude will be 0 0.1, and it will stay at 0 0.1 from there on. So we'll just quickly plot it and see what um, that heavy fu heavy side function uh, looks like. So we'll just quickly plot it. Say plot um, t comma y. So we'll just plot y function with respect to time. Uh, before you run it, we just quickly save this spring mass system. Let's see. Here we go. So here's the function here. So you can see the y axis is our y, the x axis is our t. And from 0 to 1, the value is 0. And as soon as it gets to 1 second, 
the value jumps to 0.1, the amplitude jumps to 0.1. So that's our step function. Uh, we'll, we'll use this uh, in our in our solution. <coughs> let's, let's say we change that 0.1 amplitude to 5, and we'll quickly run this again. You can see that at one second the value jumps to five, and that's that's our step function. Um, very simple um, step function. So we'll just uh, close this, change it back to 0.1, which is our original function. Um, I don't think we need this plot function right now, so we'll just delete that too. Um, we'll continue with the solution. We'll just define the initial value uh, for the initial position and initial uh, velocity, which is zero. And so we need initial value to solve this equation. So those are the given ones. And now what we'll do is we'll just um, type our a1s, a2, and a3s, a4, and a5 that we solved in um, our, with our hand calculation like a few minutes ago. So we'll keep them there and we'll just write a loop here, a for loop, so you can iteratively calculate and gives us a solution. So you say for k equals to length 3 all the way to length t. The length of t array is 5,000. And it starts at <coughs> 3. And we'll just write our equation that we solved for xk. So xk equals to, yeah, I, I didn't want to type it, so I have it typed up here on my next side screen here. And we'll just copy paste it here. And you can see just, it's the same equation that we um, derived a few minutes ago. It's 1 over a1 times a4. And now uh, we'll just end the loop, create a figure, and plot this and see what happens. Just plot um, time and the position, the x position. Quickly solve it, run. And here's a graph. So right here, so there's nothing going on but, uh, from zero to one second, but since there's some y function, it creates some kind of vibration in the system. And our control system, basically our spring and our dampers values, are able to bring our system to its steady state. So you can see it takes about a second after the unit step function for the system to go to a steady state. So now we'll just also look side by side to the unit step function, what's happening. We'll just plot both of them the same uh, graph. Let's run it. All right, there you go. <coughs> so point one, we'll see a jump. And the system will overshoot, then it will undershoot, and slightly overshoot again, and then it will just go to a steady state to the set point, point one. We could um, change the damping coefficient. Let's just double it up and see how soon um, the system reaches a steady state. There you go. So there is uh, less of an undersh undershoot. It just overshoots once and it just gets to the steady state solution very quickly. So here you can actually develop, you know, you know, optimize a whole system by changing K values or damping values and uh, for different masses. Uh, very easy to solve d differential equation with this method. And uh, it's a great tool. Uh, MATLAB is a great tool. Thanks for watching.